Uh, hi, everyone, and welcome to our session. So today we're going to be uh, having our first session of day three, which is October 23rd. Uh, we're going to be looking at how to develop marketing materials by using uh, no-code tools. So without uh, further ado, let me just uh, share my screen and start. Um, can you see my screen? Uh, if, you, if you can't see, you can just show me some thumbs up. Okay, okay. thank you, Daisy. Okay, um, so then we start from the uh, slideshows, uh, from the slides, and we can uh, just build up on each task, uh, like each uh, platform, while we are going down. Okay. So, what are no code tools? So, uh, no code tools are as the name implies that are uh, platforms that allow or help users to create applications, website and contents uh, that normally would uh, require some coding, uh, or writing code or understanding some code. But uh, with these no code tools, you can uh, create these things, the website applications, and the contents without writing any code. So why would we use this no code, uh, no code tools? So the first one is accessibility. So you don't need to have a technical background in order to design or to uh, create these uh, applications or uh, websites or content. And the next one is efficiency. So uh, it, they would like normally building a website and building applications could take months. That with these no code tools, you can just create one within uh, hours at, mo at most. And cost effectiveness, uh, so it reduces the need for hiring developers, plus, most of these no code tools are free, uh, especially the ones that we are going to be using are free. So uh, it, it's going to reduce your cost. And common use cases include, of course, building websites and landing pages designing graphics uh, and marketing materials in automated work workflows and uh, organizing projects. So what are the benefits of using no code tools for marketing, which is what uh, we are going to be doing now, right? So the first one is ease of use. So they are uh, easy to use. Uh, they are intuitive uh, interface uh, with a drag and drop functionalities for most of the tools. Uh, professional templates, we can find millions uh, in front like hundreds of thousands of millions of uh, templates, ready to use templates. Um, customization, so it's uh, like as ability to tailor the design to match our brand identity, so we can easily uh, generate new images and uh, just work with them and by uh, tailoring them to me. Collaboration, you can uh, work on the same project with your team. Uh, or you can share your project with team members uh, and uh, like ask them to edit it or give you feedback. And of course, integration, uh, it's, you can connect with others such as social media analytics, uh, like so, social media analytics and so on. So these are some of the, like, some examples that we are going to be looking at that's actually uh, used, uh, they used, no code tools in order to build the business. So, uh, Home for Refugees is uh, like a non profit organization that's uh, like that connects uh, like people who have a spare room with people who have uh, like re refugees, right? So, as you can see, uh, they build these sites with no code tools. So, they didn't even have pizza money to build the website. So, uh, with this, uh, I, I believe it was double uh, with this tool they used they were able to create uh, this website for free as you can see it's a good website since they don't have the money to build a new one uh, like this uh, since no good to actually save uh, their business as it uh, saved their uh, company another example that i have right here is so uh, scholar much so this is actually a blog by them they use Airtable in order to, so they too, uh, Scholar Match, are also a non profit organization that just uh, helps uh, underprivileged students uh, by crowdfunding college scholarships. So they will 
give scholarship for them and so on. So they used Airtable database, which is a free human code uh, tool for a database, and it helped them a lot to save money, and, uh, to save money from hiring people, and to save money because it was free. So uh, like this one is the second one. Uh, the third one is uh, Comet, which is a freelancing uh, like uh, websites. Here, also, this website is also built by using a uh, code tool. So you, you can see how good it is. Uh, so you can do this as well. So, uh, wait, these are just examples. So this one is uh, HQ is also a freelancing uh, application or company. So here you, you can see. Enters, circles, you can see uh, how they build it. But all these car companies build their uh, websites by using men code tools. So, uh, so is it clear so far, guys? Before we move on, uh, is it clear? Am I audible? Can you show me some thumbs up if everything is clear and audible? Uh, hello. Okay. Thank you, Daisy. What about the rest of it? Is it clear? Am I audible? Uh, okay. Let's move on. Objectives, what do you mean objectives? Uh, there are no objectives, just, you were just uh, taking a look at the benefits of uh, using uh, no code. So it's easy to use, but you have many, many professional templates that you can choose from in order to get started. It's easy to customize uh, in order to just uh, tailor them, uh, the designs to match your brand identity. Uh, and it's easy to collaborate and integrate as a platform. So that's uh, what we saw. But these were just examples of uh, uh, these. Uh, so these are it's these examples actually. These websites are real life websites. So they actually build their websites by using no code tools. Uh, so th this is a uh, room for refugee. Uh, this is Comet for freelance. So you can see that. Uh, I will share you the, the slides so you, you can check them out. But they built their website by using no code tools. So they are very powerful, and very, uh, very uh, good tools that you can use and easy. So, yeah. So overview of the key uh, no-code platforms that we are going to be using is the first one is Canva, and the fact uh, which is which we are going to be using to uh, generate graphics design tool for creating uh, uh, visual content. So we have a lot of templates for social media posts, presentations, and more stock photos, icon, fonts, uh, collaboration and share options. Uh, we have the option to collaborate and share. Uh, and for weeks, uh, it's a website building for creating virtual websites. So we turn the drag and drop editor, AI powered websites builder, uh, expensive design for mobile and desktop. And of course, we have Notion, which is all in one workspace for nodes, database, project management, so as a custom table, uh, template. So we already have, we actually have provided you with templates. That you can start to uh, get uh, start templates. So you can integrate them with other tools such as Typeform and others, and uh, collaboration and sharing capabilities are so there. So, uh, like we will see each of them here. So, uh, that's why I am uh, passing them. So, we will see Canva here. Uh, so, we will see Wix here. So, so that's why I'm just uh, passing them. Right. Okay, so what are the best practices uh, for marketing, uh, for creating these marketing materials? 
So the first one is, of course, defining your goal. So are you uh, like creating these ma uh, marketing materials in order to get new uh, uh, customers? Is it for building uh, like your customer base? Or are you uh, like increasing your brand awareness or driving sales? Are you looking to drive or increase your sales? So you need to define your goal and you need to also know your audience. So uh, because uh, like your audience, you need to tailor your response or uh, your content to resonate with your uh, target demographic. So if it is uh, for people uh, under the age of 25, uh, it's different. And if it is for people uh, like above the age of 35, it's a different. And of course, consistent branding. So you need to use consistent colors and, and imagery that reflects your brand identity. Uh, because if it is very different from one to another, uh, like people are not going to be resenting with your brand, right? And uh, when you include messages or texts, you need to keep them concise and impactful and use strong call to actions. Or like click here or buy here or some, something like that. And of course, high quality visuals. So you need to have uh, high resolution image and graphics and ensure that visuals support and enhance your message. So you need to make sure that you are communicating the needs and your message clearly across. And of course, mobile optimization. Uh, so you need to design the material that looks good on all devices. And uh, of course, you need to send like uh, like uh, uh, test it yourself, and of course, give uh, like uh, give others a link and let them test it and get the feedbacks and iterate uh, to make improvements. And so, so before we go to Canva, I need to create an Instagram ad. Are there any questions? Uh, Abdisa, Abdisa, yes, uh, were there any questions, Abdisa? Uh, and of course, for the others, are there any questions? Anything that you want uh, to see, take a look at before we look, uh, we start with a uh, demo. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to take that. It's clear. Um, so let's get started with camp. So for this demonstration, we're going to be building an uh, Instagram ad by using Canva. So the first thing that we're going to do is, uh, like, I, think I believe we have a good. Uh, uh, like, detailed uh, steps here so i have already actually uh, logged in but uh, if you are new should be it should be there yes we're not hearing you well uh, okay it's not uh, like what i want to know is it for everyone uh is my voice clear? Is my audio clear, guys? Um, can you give me some uh, confirmation? Or if it's not clear, just say it's not clear. Rehma, is it clear now? Hello. Uh, okay, then try to change that. Uh, okay. What's about now? Is it for everyone? But uh, like, okay, so you can't hear me. Uh, what what about Norema? 
Rahma, uh, is it uh, clear now? Okay. okay, let's move to, so I believe you already have created your accounts. If, if not, you can just, uh, uh, when you open Canva, we will ask you for your email and you can just create it from there. Okay, I believe uh, you guys have seen that one. So the first thing that you're gonna see when you log into your account is this. Uh, so it's just this. So here you have uh, Instagram posts. So here you have the, actually this is because I have already searched it, but uh, here you have Instagram posts where uh, what we have specified earlier, Instagram post templates, also. okay. With the size, it's already specified. Okay. So when you choose that, it's going to give you uh, some results for the templates. So for this example, we're going to be building uh, the uh, Instagram post and the website for smart water bottle. So uh, let's see, smart water. And for the filter, okay, it's not, it's only color, but it should actually, it has choose. So, uh, so the first thing that you need to do, so if you see this pro, it's for like it's a pro account. So we don't have any like, pro accounts since we have only the free account, we cannot access these things. So let's uh, take a look at, uh, which one we want, which one resonates with is our, is our brand. Okay, uh, I'm thinking more. So we need to see uh, what her profile is. premium. Let's just, let's just uh, go with one. Let's get rid of smart text. Okay, okay, go to this. Okay, um, let's just use one and get started. She says, I was swearing the first time. So, in place, choose for that none of them are more, that was more, but okay, let's just look this one. So we have this, so uh, we can edit the text, but so let's use this one. So having with this one, so we have this, let's say just Instagram post templates, right? So uh, the first thing that we need to do is, uh, so this is our call to action, which we call CTA. So show up now at, uh, so here we will, at our website, but for now you can say www.aquasmart.com. Just, just as an example, right? Sure. <clears throat> okay. So we have this here. Uh, so here, let's say. Uh, 
uh, stay hydrated. Stay. So let's say th this is our logo, like a slogan. So here, Aqua Smart. And here we can just say uh, teacher. So we, we can just start the figure starts our uh, hotel house. So let's say. Uh, let's say notification. So we can resize this, this function. Then it I I would not I still think that that's still on the still the uh, but it is a good time. I'm starting to build and let's say, uh, curious. We don't ask. So let's say these are our few features. So it's just a then post. So here we have our name. And here we have our slogan, stay hydrated, stay healthy. And here we have our features. And here we can actually change the image here. Uh, let's uh, go to Gemini. And create a hero post or a hero image here that we're going to use. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, I did not understand that I'm doing okay. So I can't this account, but let me try to pilot. It's So let's just go with this one. We're just iterating in order to get the uh, image. So is it clear so far, guys? Is my idea uh, clear? Any questions so, so far? We're just creating the image. Uh, I'm not happy with this one as well. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Still, it's still creating other images. So, I 
Just one more try. We can move to Jamaya. Let's be back on Jamaya. So it's better. Yeah, I think let's use this one. So let's just copy it and paste it here. Yeah. So we can get rid of this one. Uh, so let's get this image out. So we have the frame here. So I don't want to move it. So, yeah, so let's say this is our image. So you can uh, do a lot of trials with it, get your image. So if you are happy with your post and if you want to uh, work with this one, this is the uh, next thing that you can do. So we have chosen a template. Uh, so we have to uh, like, customize the design by changing the text, adding image, adding colors and fonts. So you, you can actually change the fonts here. So here uh, it has this font. So you can change it uh, to anything that you want. Uh, the text style, you can say if it is a heading or a subheading or a body. So let's use a subheading. So yeah, you can change it. You can animate it if you want. Uh, like if you want it to be like a video, you can do this. So here, if you see, uh, yeah. so it's going to rise up. Or if you want it to go to the side, you can do that. If you want it fading, you can do that. Uh, and for this one, you can just uh, let it fade out. And for this one, you can just uh, up. So this is just an example for you to get started. And so this is going, going to be the image. Yeah. So, if you are happy with this, so you can click on share here. You can download it in, like, uh, like MP4 since it's a video. But if it is an image which is which you are going to be uh, submitting to us, so you can either choose Kenj or GPM. So. So you, you can choose either one, click on download, it's going to download the image for you. So here it is. Yep. So here you go. This is the image. You can see it. So since I, I downloaded it as an, an image, it doesn't have the animation. But if I download it, it has a uh, MP4. It would show that the image uh, animation that we have created. But yeah, so this is how you can create an uh, Instagram post. So is it clear, guys? Uh, questions or is it clear? Please uh, participate. Please make sure to participate. About the video. Okay, so what I was just saying was so this is so. Like we have animated it, right? So, so here you, you can see the the animation here. So it's a very quick animation, but you, you can see here as they have created it. Is the health is going to uh, coming from the side and not, notification is going to come up, and also the, this one, the email address or the website address. So that's animation. So if you want to have it as an animation. Let's uh, I think we can include the speed, but it's going to need uh it's going to need a premium account. We can uh, we have to have the order. Okay. Yes. Just to uh, show you, okay? Okay. Here it will just uh, like it's just animation. So if you want to have it as animation, when you download it, it's going to show you MP4 video. So 
let's download it as mp4 earlier you have seen it's just a picture right but if i want to uh, have this animation i can download it as mp4 which is a video and it will give you the animation okay so here we have the animation let me just open it it's just taking a bit to open. Yeah, so here we have, since it's an open player, uh, so it's going to play. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it because I didn't share. Yes, I will. I will, uh, you can speak. So you can see that it has downloaded as a video, right? This is the earlier download. So you can see how that's going to be. So, is it clear? Uh, is it clear? Rehma? Rehima? So, any questions on the Telegram post, that, uh, how to create it, how to edit it, how to get the image, and how to change the font, to change the text, anything? Uh, are there any questions? Okay, is it clear? At least, uh, can you give me some confirmation? Let me just share my screen again. Um, so, if it is clear, I think can uh, to and how we can find the website. Okay. Well, let me just uh, do this one. So, uh, so we have seen how you can download it, uh, and we have seen how to animate. So this is another uh, just example. Uh, okay. So what are the best practices for creating uh, Instagram apps? So the first one is it should be visually appealing. Uh, yeah, should be visually appealing. When people see it, uh, they could they should have a clear branding. So which usually include a logo. So we don't have a logo, but and a consistent branding color. So it's since it's uh, like a water bottle, I have used a blue bluish. Uh, background so that's going to be the just brand color uh, concise message so uh, like stay uh, hydrated stay healthy and stay, stay healthy is just uh, like the logo or the like the message and the strong uh, call to action so uh, for the call to action help drop now and uh, like when you post it, you should have, have uh, hashtags and you should place them strategically and optimize for more mobile viewing. 
Okay, so uh, if that's clear, I think we can move on to Wix. But first, why we chose Wix? Let's talk about why we chose Wix and uh, why we recommend it. So the first one is uh, it's user friendly, uh, and uh, so it has uh, like a drag and drop editor. Yes, is that a question? Yes, I will. How well, do you have a question? Rashad? Rashad, how well, do you have a question? Or is my audio not uh, like you can't hear me or you see my screen? Uh, okay, maybe it's a mistake. Okay, and it has like uh, over 500 designer made templates. Uh, it's uh, you. You have full control uh, or freedom on just uh, kind of customizing web, your website. Uh, it has a mobile optimization, and it has a lot of integrated tools for analytics, mar marketing feature, and, uh, and so on. You actually have a dashboard for that one, and it's uh, easy to scale for small businesses into large businesses. So, why recommend it? Uh, so. It's uh, beginner friendly, uh, time efficient, so it shouldn't take you more more than uh, like I would say a couple of hours to just design your whole uh, website and uh, be able to publish it and share it with your friends and us. Cost effective, it's free uh, for your for you to just get started and publish your web website. Versatile, uh, so. Uh, you can uh, create a lot of pages for your websites, such as landing page, portfolio, or e-commerce. It has a lot, a big community and support, so that there are a lot of uh, tutorials on YouTube and others so that you can use to get started. Plus, integration uh, with marketing tools is easy, uh, plus real-time uh, real-world success stories are there. So I think we have actually uh, created this up. So these uh, websites are actually built by using Wix. So here it's just uh, like uh, this website is like Easy Wheels. It's just a website that uh, provides these uh, customizable wheels for people in, in wheelchair. So you can see it. So this is completely built on Wix. So th this is a success story. Uh, so here in Israel, Jersey, you can also see this one. Uh, so it's a uh, marketplace for a jewelry, so you can see how good it is. It's a really good jewelry, like a website. Uh, and of course, we have the uh, form formula, which is also a website for uh, shampoo and or hair care solutions for a baby, of course. So you can see it here. So these are some of the success stories of the website that we built by using um, Wix. So let's uh, do this. So the, for this demo, we're going to be uh, building the just a simple uh, just a simple website for just a landing page for our smart water bottle. Okay. So let's uh, get started. Okay, so um, so it's going to start from. Let me create a new account. Or okay, better, let's. Uh, I think I can delete this account and get started with a new one. Okay. So let's get started. So we just logged in or sign up. So th this is a new account. Uh, okay, uh, it's having some problems, but um, let me sign in again. Okay, uh, okay, let's. Use another email then. Good. 
Okay. So here we have an option to use uh, AI. So they have a built-in AI that's going to help us build our website. So we don't have to work on as the, like choosing a template and so on. We, we just can tell him or tell the AI about what we want, what kind of site we want, and it will build uh, the template for us. Of course, you can also build uh, like the uh, web website from the template as well. If you want to build it from the template, you, you can just uh, click here and set up without chat. But if you want to use AI, uh, so let's use AI. Okay. Uh, okay, so the first question is, let's get started with your site. So uh, tell me about what your site is. So, uh, uh, so it is for uh, my company called Aqua uh, okay. Aqua Smart. Uh, which is sorry. Um, Let's get rid of code, which is a smart auto for civic So uh, the set is for that company, so what are your main goals uh, for AquaSmart uh, web website? So, uh, building awareness uh, about our products. Sorry, I think yeah, awareness are about our products. Uh, okay, and. Um, so you guys are following up right uh, it's clear so far my voice is clear and everything right just to check up on you guys okay thank you bye Okay, so uh, do you have any additional goals for the website, such as increasing online sales, building customer community? No, just the short answer. Okay, let's just skip the question because we want it right now. Okay. Include So uh, it could take like a couple of charts just to get uh, just to let the AI know what uh, kind of let's go to the dark board and we can create or customize the website from there. Right? Uh, sometimes it has problem. Okay. So here we should be click design the site. Should we be able to do this? 
So the AI is going to be generating uh, It could take like some minutes uh, to get started. Yeah, it's creating it, but um, I think it's taking a bit too much time. In the meantime, if you guys have any questions, please, please make sure to ask. So do you have any questions so, so far? Any questions? Anything that you want me to go through again? I think I uh, will that as it's clear. Okay, so here uh, we have just a template. We, we can say uh, just a template here. So it's not a good one. Um, okay, so we can. Uh, okay, let's make it a little bit better. This one. Uh, we'll see what's going to create. And if you are happy with it, we continue. If you will not, we can just customize it ourselves. Okay. So um, here we have products and so on, so uh, including the uh, selling price uh, about what it is about and key uh, selling points temperature control and everything um, and discover more so here we can add our email so I think we can continue with this one okay so we can uh, let's continue to the editor so because we want to edit a couple of things kind of efficient Okay, uh, it's taking a bit time. Uh, 
Um, okay, it's taking much more time than uh, usual. Okay, I think it's building. In the meantime, um, I think it's uh, best if we continue with the rest of the slides and we can come back to this one. We're done. Yeah. Let it build. Let's just have a little bit left, but for the sake of time, let's continue and we can come back to it later. So. These are just the uh, steps that you can follow. Uh, so here we have seen this one. So the best practices for building and groups uh, by using Wix are clear value propositions. So you need to communicate the main benefits of your products, like we have done earlier. So we have uh, we have tried to show our unique selling points and compared to other. Uh, with a, with a strong visuals, you need to use uh, a high quality image or video uh, and simple and clean design. So, avoid clutter, uh, mobile responsive, ensure the page looks good on all devices. So, we will see how we can do that once it's done here. Uh, and faster load time uh, and effective call to action patterns. So we will also add the button here while once it's done. I don't know why it's taking this much time. But, and then uh, include testimonials, reviews, and certifications if there are in. And uh, organizing uh, the content by using uh, Notion. So how Notion can help is uh, you can uh, plan and schedule marketing content. Uh, tracking progress of marketing materials creation, uh, collaborate, share with your team members. So we will see how we can do that. So we have already actually, I think we have provided you with temp like templates that you can use for this one. I think uh, let's use that one. Um, I believe it's here. Yes. So we have provided you with four templates that you can use we will be using one here we we'll don't use it for uh, this one Yes, this one is uh, better for. So here it's not free, it's free, but for only uh, limited people. So I don't want to take away from you guys, but 16 is left. So please make sure. Just make sure to go there and use it up. I don't want to use this one because I don't want uh, to take away from you guys, but we can use the, this one. Okay, it's loading, I think. Yeah, okay. so it's loading. So here we have, we, we can see the campaigns that we are planning and the campaigns that are in progress. So let's say I want this te template, you can click here. And it's going to import this te template to your motion. Let's just add it to my uh, private one. Uh, which is going here, so no progress yet. Maybe we have to ditch this one, but 
let's check the templates in the private uh, utility dungeon. Okay, it's being added. It's not uh, over yet, but it's being added. Okay, uh, it could take some time as well. Okay, it's being added. Let's wait for uh, some minutes, I think. But in the meantime, uh, we can take a look at the best practices for organizing content by using Notion, so use templates. So the main reason that we are using template, I want to highlight this one, is because it saves a lot of time and energy because people are already uh, done it and uh, we can find actually a lot of good tem templates that you can uh, get started with. So that's the main reason that we use templates and uh, it's, it's really because uh, uh, like cuts down the amount of time it takes us to build something and try to use consistent naming and conventions uh, we'll see what we mean by that one tagging and categorization so it's it, it, it is it in planning or is it in progress or is it in uh, done create deadlines so you need to set deadlines and regular updates and collaborative effect so we'll see what we mean by that by those and lastly, uh, what are the tips for effective marketing materials? So keep it simple, uh, like use high quality image, uh, strong call to action patterns, consistency, uh, of course, always, always test and gather feedback and stay updated. So continuous updates is needed there. Okay, so this one is still, I don't know why, but it's uh, those are still working. Um, I think uh, I don't know why uh, it's not about an internet. Okay, at least let's work with the Wix site. And then we can come back. Okay. Let me, I'm, I'm going to stop this one uh, for the sake of time. And we can just do it manually. Just for the sake of time. So you have seen how you can generate uh, by using uh, AI. Uh, and then uh, later on, you have the time. So you can just, uh, you can just wait but for the session. Let's just use. Uh, let's just use uh, this uh, temp template. So, what do we need it for? So, we need it for uh, landing page. So, we should be uh, we should be able to find it here. So it's for support. Is the uh, landing page should be. So the category is for landing page. Okay. But I want it for okay uh wine yeah wine we don't have any water bottles so if we don't find any good templates we can build for scratch i don't see anything good so let's just go with landing page and choose a landing page that we want to work with. Uh, so here we have uh, for smartwatch, so you, you guys can use this one. Uh, consultants, uh, webinar, app launch, uh, complete. Uh, okay. 
we want let's go with this one okay, let's, let's, let's work with this one. let's go ahead and click edit this should take less time this is because we already have a site that we created earlier but it took a lot of time so we're teaching that one Let's hope this one doesn't take us long. Okay, guys. Uh... I think this one is also take, take, taking a bit longer. I don't know what's uh, going on, but yes, at least the, 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 this one is faster than the previous one. Yeah. So here we can use AI in order to generate a the text the water also uh For the stone troll, I didn't. Okay, so this one doesn't take a lot because just creating text, it doesn't create a... Sorry for the uh, hydration and so on, so it's just a slogan, so we can uh, quick edit it, so let's just take a look at it, so, uh, okay, so I want to change this image, so it should be, should be to click the image, and it's not why. Yes. So for the background, I want to create an image. Uh, so I want to upload media from my computer that I have downloaded earlier. Uh, I think this one is it. Okay. 
Yeah, so this is this one. Yes. Yeah. So uh, resolution has hydration, so let's change this one. There it is. Same for the order now. Uh, you can just so th this is more of uh, so order now. So it has a link. So for the link, you can change. So it's it's just directing it to the page. But you want if you want to direct it to your email, you can just say uh, it's for example. We can use this one. So whenever someone clicks on this button, it's going to uh, take them to my email. And for the color, I think we can change since uh, it's if the background is not uh, fitting with this one. Let's change it to uh, okay. Let's customize it. So I want uh, more of a round corner, but uh, I think it's already here. Let's go back out. I think it's this one. Yes. Okay. So we hover over on it. it. Should should change colors, but it's not changing it. So I don't know why. Okay. For now, let's just use uh, this one. So stay hard and stay healthy. That's our uh, that's our slogan. So this is the first section. If you want, you can add another section. And you can add, uh, like, you can generate AI, uh, like that was a section, you can generate AI, it's AI, features, let's talk about features. Uh, additions, uh, Okay, later. Prediction. Temperature. Control. Temperature. Temperature control. Dusting. So let's generate uh, text and image. So it's going to ask us to change uh, to select image that we want. Okay. Think. Yes. Okay. Now, think this one is better. So this is this one. Okay. Yeah. This is going to be our section, so smart notification, water level detection, control, mobility. Um, you can edit these things. So, uh, so here, let's say. Smart notifications, you can adjust the size and here, let's say, 
Diction. Here you can just uh, generate is uh, using ChatGPT or other uh, the other elements, efficiency and uh, load cost. Let's just see these things. Yeah. So here you can also uh, change the image here and so on. So after you change everything, you can click on preview. So I am adding bits going faster. So this is going to be a preview. So as they hide it, they held it. So it's not landing page. And then you see the key features. You can edit the rest of the things. And earlier I showed you that when you click over here, it's going to show you, uh, uh, like it's going to take you to the site. So let's publish it. So here is a domain name. So let's save and continue. So if you already have a domain name, you can uh, just uh, work with this one, with that one. So here we have, I have already, uh, we have already created the website. This is the website. Why uh, is it not? Yeah. Okay, so it's done. So you can see the website. So here is the website. So this is key features and so on, you can select the, uh, I think we can edit still. So here, when you click on this, it's going to should take you to the email. Oh, sorry, uh, it's, it's creating, it's uh, opening another application. Let me share my screen, my whole screen show. Okay. So when I click on uh, order now, it's actually taking me to uh, like my email, my email. So here, if you can see, it will have the email of that uh, which I have written earlier. And here, yeah. So when you share, when you submit. Make sure to submit only this, uh, only this link. Okay. So after you publish, send this link. So let me close this one. And if I want to uh, still work on this, so here earlier I just uh, done the websites. But if I want to edit the mobile site, I can click here, and it's going to take me to the mobile. So or you can click here. So here you can see that this is what's going to be shown on the mobile. Yeah. So if you are happy with this, you can uh, publish it as well. And then uh, the mobile set as well. So you can scan it here and it will work. Okay, so let's get back to the desktop, make some edits, and see how it's going to change. And then we can end the session. So earlier, we just we have seen this, uh, like we have seen this, so we don't want this one. Uh, back to the editor. So we have seen this one, don't want this, so we can uh, we be able to get rid of this one. Uh, okay. so, uh, deleted it so here. You can change anything that you want. And, uh, if you're not happy with something, you can change it into. Uh, okay, let's create it. I think you can create another one, but for now, it's, it's just example. 
you can choose this email, so it's going to press it and adjust the size of it. Yes, so, to the environment. You can also change the rows of buttons to take you to email, page, anything that you want. Click then to be able to do it, to uh, be able to work with it. Yeah. So, this is going to be your home page or your landing page. So, after you preview it, if you are happy with it, you can just save it and it should be reflected on the. So, here you have made some uh, edits. Let's go back. I think we should be able to select this one. Let's it. So this is the updated one. Yes, so you, you can see that the engine is already applied. So after that, you can you have only to share this. Link, okay. So uh, is it clear, guys? Is everything clear? Is everything good to go? I think it took a lot of time because I took longer to vote. But, uh, how is it now? Is it clear? Uh, show some reactions if it is clear. If it is not, uh, ask how we can go through the Okay, Emma, thank you. Uh, what about the rest? Uh, I think it's just uh, a small number. Okay, the end profile. Uh, okay, what about the rest? What about Papila? Uh, Is it clear? Happy? Already? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm uh, pronouncing your name wrong. Uh, so, is it clear? Can we move on? Can we end the session? Jamal, is it clear? So, you can just show some reactions uh, if it's clear and we can end the session. Clear. Yeah. Okay, good. 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 Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for your time. Uh, as always, if there's any question, uh, please, please make sure to uh, contact us on Slack and uh, we will be more than happy to help okay even if you need uh, an extra session you can ask one of the tutors and we will be on on board and have a meet and uh, be happy but for now thank you guys and have a great day bye